I'm never sure what to do with an unwanted vinyl advertising banner, but in this week's portrait story we meet somebody who has a, a useful and beautiful solution. Hello, it's James from the Global Portrait Project, where I'm painting 193 portraits of 193 nationalities, with each subject involved in a positive environmental action in their country. And I've just finished portrait number four for the country of Andorra. The Principality of Andorra is a sovereign landlocked microstate on the Iberian Peninsula in the Eastern Pyrenees. And it's a relatively easy geography quiz this week as it is bordered by a country beginning with F to the north and S to the south. Andorra's mountainous environment attracts 12 million tourists each year. The main environmental concerns are about deforestation of the 99 square kilometres of remaining woodland, overgrazing of mountain meadows by sheep with consequent soil erosion is another environmental problem. Representing Andorra, our portrait subject is Marissa MacDonald, creator of the store and business And Where Is, based in Andorra where Marissa makes one-of-a-kind creations designed from repurposed textiles and vinyl street posters. The path to finding Marissa was a little convoluted. I started by looking at Andorra Connections on Instagram, sent out some DMs and got a reply from Donna. She connected me with Albert who runs the Rastre Zero Instagram page who collects rubbish and litter from the Andorran mountains and campaigns to raise awareness to stop littering. Albert was not interested, but put me on to Marissa at And Where Is. Fifteen years ago, Marissa left a high-pressure job selling medical equipment, married a man from Spain, moved to Barcelona and started a family, and finally moved to Andorra 13 years ago. Circular economy, sustainable living and specifically trying to decrease textile waste within our local community are challenges she focuses on daily. Until she started her family, Marissa didn't really notice the enormous amount of waste nearly all of us produce and how few things you really need to be happy and most importantly healthy. She was unsure where to even begin so decided to start where she could with what she knew. As a child, she learned to sew in the American 4-H program, and she had a sewing machine. So becoming a sustainable creator was a logical place for her to start her journey. As she gained more confidence, more knowledge, and improved her language skills, she reached into her local community by offering weekly workshops in schools, participating in the artistic markets of Andorra with refashioned items, and collaborating on sustainable projects with various Andorran organisations. Marissa is active on Instagram and her feed can be eclectic but exists to promote sustainable living, how to be a conscious consumer and to use what you have. In 2018 she presented a project along with a colleague to the Environmental Initiatives Competition sponsored by the Government of Andorra. They were awarded first prize for the project submitted. Marissa launched her brand, And Where Is, in January of 2020. Sustainable, eco-friendly products such as clothing, accessories and home interior are produced from upcycled textile waste. Here you can see Marissa unrolling, cleaning, cutting, then sewing and finally showing a product. She collaborates with individuals and companies interested in finding sustainable waste solutions to promote a more circular economy. Every product is uniquely designed to find a new use from an existing resource. The brand is not just about the products, they are also an educational support system providing workshops centred around sustainability and conscious consumerism. 
Marissa feels that to make changes, education is the cornerstone and the youngest generations have a huge influence on what themes are brought into and discussed in a household. She comes from a long line of teachers and is naturally drawn to this type of setting. For the last two years, she has been running two different classes at schools on a weekly basis. Weaving in English and Use What You Have are the two classes. The former is run in elementary schools and she uses unwanted clothes, turns them into yarn and the kids then weave this into items such as wallets, bags or cushions. She feels it is a valuable way to show how an item that appears to be unusable and destined for the world of waste can be transformed into something useful again. In middle school, on the lunch hour, children can come to Marissa's classroom and choose to create from materials that she brings in, which would otherwise be considered trash. She calls this use what you have. Plastic bottles, broken toys, old puzzles are all used and she focuses on creative ways of reusing these resources. Marissa is proud of her collaboration with UNICEF Andorra, where she created items from local vinyl street posters, which were then sold and a percentage of the sale price was given to local and global projects that UNICEF supports. The Carmen Tyson Museum Andorra was one of Marissa's first business collaborations lending their influential name to the concept of reusing materials. And Whereas transforms their advertising vinyls from previous exhibits and turns them into merchandise to be sold in the art museum gift shop. Attaching publicly recognisable names or brands can add value to the projects and are especially important when Marissa is introducing an idea that may challenge current ways of thinking. She feels if reused items are seen as less than it is much harder for people to connect to the concept. The last section of her story that Marissa sent me, I'm going to quote directly. I am actually naturally an introvert and until I was almost 35 years old, I only spoke English. But when you find your passion and it requires a voice to give it strength and momentum, it is possible to push outside your comfort zone. To make a difference, it doesn't take a huge act. We all come with skills and passions. The trick is to identify your own and to find a way to use it to connect to your community. There is nothing more satisfying to me than hearing from a client, a follower, a neighbour or even my own child that I inspire them in some way to reduce or reuse. Collaborating on projects using materials that a client or a workshop participant already possesses makes connections so much stronger and that's what it's really all about. Connections. Connections to each other. Connections to the earth. If you'd like to find out more about the organisations that Marissa collaborates with, the links for GOS, SOS and UNICEF are in the description below. And along with those, you'll also find links to the And Where Is website and the page for And Where Is on Instagram. There is more information about this painting and how to get involved with the Global Portrait Project on the website and the Instagram page and all those links are as usual in the description below. Next time we'll be floating upriver in Angola. <laughs>